Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm with the absolute legend that is Jay Cutler. If you don't know who Jay Cutler is, then you need to slap across the face, <laughs> kicking and burying somewhere. So check out Jay. How long ago is it when you were in your prime? Like 10, 15 years? Yeah, I mean, I was probably, yeah, 15 years, but I mean, I've been bodybuilding for almost 30 years. There we go. And uh, probably when you were still the in your pants, I was... Oh, uh, oh yeah, I was still a bubble in my... Yeah. I was still a bubble in my dad's sack when Jay was, uh, <laughs> Jay was bodybuilding. So, uh, but absolutely, like, put pictures of Jay to this. Jay was one of the most insane looking bodybuilders of our generation, last generation, this generation. Like, even today, I don't think they... It's like a different era. They're not quite the Jay Cutler's Ronnie Coleman's anymore. They, they, it's a completely different sort of scene now. So, like, this is one of the best bodybuilders in history, plain and simple. Yeah, plain man, simple. I'm glad we linked up. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a couple of things today. I know, I, I know you're like, you know, always interested in looking at different aspects of training. So we're gonna focus on some back training today. Okay. And, uh, I know you're the man when it comes to picking things up, but I'm gonna kind of switch it a little bit towards repetitions and really just trying to get some contraction in there and really trying to that pump i guess get some fullness yeah so what's the aim just get as big as big as pump as well you can i mean you want to feel like you know i remember when i used to train man i i feel like i could go through a wall you know because yeah, yeah. the back would get so pumped up but you know it's all about repetitions and you know kind of movements with angles yeah. that are going to get your your muscles to kind of get contraction in different regions right okay. so we're going to start with a higher pull down movement you know get the lats firing and then uh, we'll go with it from there sweet let's get to it you're good go right through that motion So what we're gonna focus on is we're gonna do 12 repetitions, okay? I know this weight isn't super heavy, but we're gonna work on the contraction. So when you come down, I want you to kind of just, this is a kind of imitating the back dough of bicep, right? right so okay. you're gonna kind of squeeze, you know, get start firing the lats. Get the blood in there, yeah, yeah. So, so make sure you feel the contraction, don't just pull the weight. Okay. So what we try to focus on is at least three working sets of 12 repetitions, okay? We're gonna pyramid weight up a little bit, yeah. but we wanna do that contraction movement and really kind of get that. So you're gonna get the pump. So 45, 60 seconds rest, rest between each set. What you're used to. I'm used to like 45 to 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the mindset is really important for this, okay? So it's the mind to muscle connection that's important. So another 12 reps. So a lot of people use straps. I'm a big straps guy, and I don't know how much you use straps. I see you're using chalk for grip. Do you reckon use straps? I I prefer to use straps, especially. I know it's not in your lifts. It might be something you can or cannot do. But I like to have the straps on there just so I, I don't get the forearm pump. Because when you start doing a lot of repetitions, you know, you get that forearm pump, right? I'm here to, I'm here to learn. You got the beef straps in there. Yeah. Jay says use straps, I'm using straps. So remember, I don't want you just powering through like you're used to, like you said, you're, it's like A to B as yeah. fast as you can. This is like to change the mindset, okay? I know it's a, it's a different type of training, but really get that control. Well, down, activate it, and then yeah. a slow one. Yeah. So sometimes people do a pause. Yeah. Sometimes in the middle of the, the rep ranges, like say six sets or six reps, I'll kind of lock and get that mind and contract the muscle and uh and then follow through with the extra six reps good that's it so i had a wider waist so i had an offset i had to build as big a latch as possible so because you always want to create that taper in bodybuilding yeah. right so because I was a little wider waisted, the lats had to really flare out. So I really focused on like the pull down movements, uh, the one arm dumbbell rows, which stretched the lats, which created that crazy V taper, right? Well, as much. Yeah, so much so that, as that. that is the ideal because remember, people search, they really strive for that X frame, right? Yeah. So they want to be tapered in the center, 
legs go out. I mean, that's what bodybuilding is, yeah. right? Yeah. So this was one of the movements that I always did to try to bring the lats out to, to kind of mimic the front double bicep, right? Yeah. So we pop the lats out. And that's kind of what you're doing in this movement is like imitating almost like a front double bicep when you yeah, pull okay. down. Yeah, okay. Makes sense, yeah. One more set? Yeah. So your hands as hooks, that's it. Okay. section. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel? Do you good. feel some blood in there? It was good. Do you not tell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, one arm dumbbell, yeah? But so what yeah. we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to lengthen the lot. Okay, so, Lengths, we, so, it's so we, all about the stretch. Yeah, it is about the stretch. So what I actually try to do, and I don't know how how you do your rows now if you come straight up and down, but what I'll try to do is get when I come down I get a stretch so the lat actually stretches so It'll be kind of a, a pull to the front and down. So you just got to make sure you stand high enough. Okay? Yeah, okay. And just basic dumbbell row. Okay. And each arm, we're still going to focus on 10 to 12 repetitions. Or so away. Okay, the rest, the rest period is going to be, let's go. Okay, or so away. Okay, so one arm, the other arm, and we roll with it. Okay. I think so. You're good. Go right through that motion. Is it length of the lats. All right, so rest time's 45, 60 seconds. So we're keeping Eddie moving here a little bit. So, I know you, you've got a good tempo there. You just really concentrate on getting stretch, whack, stretch. Yeah. And the crazy part is, when people watch me train videos, they don't feel like I have that connection to the muscle. When you know, when you do it for so long, yeah. I literally can use my mind to make that contraction happen. Because you've been so yeah, you've been. It's, it's doing, called the mind to videos. muscle connection, which yeah. you can't explain to a beginner yeah. or intermediate. Everyone has their own systematic approach on how exactly tempo versus contraction. Yeah. I mean, all your power comes from your hips, right? Yeah, it does. So, so try and oscillate. Last set. Best set. <laughs> Pouring out me faster than I'm drinking it. <laughs> I love to see him work like that. Well, I could try He's definitely the hardest worker in this room, that's for sure. I always find that when I, when I put like extra muscle or fat on or whatever, so my body weight's right on like 375 pounds at the minute. Just sweat. What's your max body weight? Four, 435. And when I saw you in the UK last, you were lighter. Oh, yeah, like. What, what was, what, how much? Were you 350 then, or? Yeah, about 350. Put on 25 pounds, yeah. And I'm going to put on another 25 pounds before we get to cut, so. It's going to get harder before it gets easier. It's all about the condition, man. Okay, this is pretty easy. Okay, pretty easy. But this is going to pull the lats, okay? So, so we did a front movement, overhand grip. This is going to be underhand grip. Now, there's a lot of movements I prefer to do on your hand. So barbell rows, it's just a little dangerous on the bicep, yeah. especially as the weight that we pull, right? So we're gonna do reverse grip. This is gonna pull the lats again, because remember, we're trying to really create that V taper. That's, yeah. This is gonna be super important for you. Yeah. So we're gonna pull the lats again, okay, which is imitating this, right? Yeah. Same thing, fingers as hooks. We're gonna focus on 10 to 12 reps. Let's, uh, I drop the seat all the way down and uh, let's lock it in and see how it goes here. Feels good, right? You lock the lats in? Yeah. Good. I'm gonna go up a little bit and wait. Yeah. Think so? I love that. He says, I'm gonna stack it. Here I am, I'm thinking that was a pretty decent heavy weight. And he's like throwing on double now. Hey man, you don't train with one of the greats and, and not train heavy. Oh. 
That's called training angry right there. That was nice. <laughs> that was nice. 40 seconds rest, back in. 60 seconds. Yeah. That was a heavy set. I've been, I've been treated here. Yeah, three. so we're doing like three sets each exercise. How long would a workout take you? 45 minutes. Really? So if I was doing back, I mean, if you're doing back or legs, I mean, legs together, get quads, hamstrings, yeah. might be a little longer. But I think 45 minutes, you can roll through, especially with the short rest. Yeah, I suppose with the short rest periods. Yeah. So I'm training for about two, two and a half hours at the minute. So well, I'm, I'm having good rest. I'm training with my son as well, so it takes, I mean, a, bit, it takes a bit longer. But the, the, the ideal thing is to get that endurance up and get that intensity. And remember, it's going to, right now you're trying to bulk up. So I definitely, like a little slower is sometimes better. But as you get more condition, your, your rest periods are going to have to get tighter to what you're doing today. Two more, two more. One more, one more. One more now, come on, come on. Feeling it, man. So, the next movement we're going to do is a seated table row. Okay. Pretty standard. Get a little more back thickness. So, you know, we talk about the back double bicep. Okay? That little, that naughtiness in the back. Okay? This is going to focus on that thickness part. Okay? So front front to back thickness. So when you do all your side poses too, yeah. you know, you want to have that thick front to back and that that will help build the back. That okay. Up. That's what this is for, building the depth. Yeah, yeah. For the depth of the physique. Okay. So we're gonna try to keep it a little little lower to here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. So just so when we come back the back straight, right? Yeah. So we're kind of pulling back and not we're not coming back like this. Okay. With probably how you went to the gym, you always went for your lifts, right? Yeah. So obviously your your mind has to shift now towards okay, how good of a pump am I getting, right? Yeah. And I don't know if you ever worked towards a pump when you were training for power. You yeah. didn't really care, right? Even though you're probably gonna pump sometimes. The only right? thing that matters, strong man, is how much weight you can move. That's it. Okay, no so, how you feel. so now your mind has to shift to the pump is determined how good my workout is. Okay. So, so as long happy. as the blood flows in there, and that's why the repetitions have to be more. Obviously, the food patterns has to be like the consistent eating every two, two and a half, three hours. Yeah. Like that's where your diet, where you're not all out eating as much calories as you. You're going to have to restrict and space your meals out, any five or six portion of meals a day. So the ten pancakes with syrup this morning. I mean, half that, an hour before I came here, I'm still burping them up. Is that no good? I was nervous when you were doing the one arm row that you would have come Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had to have a massive breakfast. So that, that's why I kind of shifted to less bent over movements. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How is this weight? Easy. Okay. I'm going to go one. The next crap, net, the last that we're going to go the full thing, it may be. Oh, yeah, okay. I still want you to focus on the repetitions. We gotta, we gotta drop the mindset of like we're just gonna max out every machine in the gym. Which I know that's what you think, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to feel it. It's, it's mind over matter sometimes. So. Okay. That's good. Easy enough. Got to go over here. Final set of this exercise, okay? So we're focusing, like I said, three sets. I went up. I kept it one pin from the bottom just to challenge him. I don't want him to think that he's overcoming all gyms and nights. <laughs> Easy. It's very polite with the weights. I would have slammed. You're very polite for a strong man. Yeah. I've always had big respect for the gym, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a reverse row. So this is kind of imitating the uh, reverse grip barbell row. Like I said, another underhand thing. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't think this weight stack's going to be heavy enough, so disrespect it. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. This is our last movement right here. This is it. So, last set, best set. Ah, boost, boost, boost. Good. Ah, ah, ah. 
Oh. Ow. Great. That was heavy, man. Heavy. Boom. Like I said, I wouldn't, uh, I would go about half the weight. No, it's great. It's eye opening, man. It's just, so it's the volume, little tweak to six, the angles. You're giving me different angles to hit, but I wouldn't really, wouldn't really content, contemplate before. See, the thing is, is, is the variety in the training. So, what we tend to do is do more switch around. So, I know, like, we have our, like our core movements, but we try to we try to put some different things in there to, to stimulate different muscle fibers. So I'm not one to say you can't do the same movements in the same order and the same repetitions every week because I believe if you train with the right intensity, you're always going to get the right stimulation and get the results. But I think it's good to kind of switch things up and have different variety in there because you will be able to contract different muscle fibers in there. Yeah. And obviously training intensity, like I used to fly people in and out of my, out of Vegas when I was training for the contest, just to change up training partners, just to almost like sparring partners and yeah, boxing, yeah. Yeah. just to get a different feel because people would do it, you know, it would make me work a little harder sometimes yeah. to try to show people, hey, this is how a Mr. Olympia trains, right? And I, was, and I was pushing against Coleman, who I thought was probably the best, the hardest trainer there was, right? Yeah. So we were always kind of like, okay, who's training harder at the time? And, you know, obviously his lifts kind of tell the story, right? So, I mean, Ronnie trained predominantly quite heavy, didn't he? He did, and the, and the crazy thing is, is we trained a lot together. And he trained the same, like, the same rest times and the speed and the intensity even with that heavy weight. So he would do the same, yeah, so we'd have like 45, 50 Yeah, so, so for example, if we go doing legs, which we did on several occasions, because he would train legs on a Friday, we'd go to the gym and, and do guest appearances. Yeah. I would squat to 400 pounds for 12 reps and he would do 600 for 12. Wow. And the first rep was exactly like the last rep. There was no okay. difference between the first rep and the last rep. And size-wise and like looks-wise, you were almost identical. He was, he was a little bigger. I mean, he had a, 10 years on me, so the yeah, maturity yeah. was different. But it was just, it's crazy to watch the top level guys, especially at that level, with the repetitions, because there's not much difference between rep one, two, and three, yeah. and nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like a piston, you know? Yeah. Because your mind knows exactly how hard to push, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of push through those movements and just, you know, you get the best benefit and it's just continuing day in, day out. Until we stood on stage at the end, displayed the best the beats we could. All we cared about was winning, you know? Yeah, I know, you could tell that. You won every day, you were in the gym training, you know, the, that was your one step closer to winning the big ones. One of the best rivalries ever in bodybuilding, Jay Cutler versus Ronnie Coleman. I don't know if there'll ever be uh, another one. I don't know will. Almost 10 years with top two, so it was crazy. Yeah. Now, I've said this before, like, this probably tells Jay's age, but when I was a kid, everybody had posters of Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler yeah, yeah, yeah. on the walls at the gym, at home, because that's what they aspired to look like. And that's no, that's no joke. Like, as a 13-year-old kid, just starting the gym, having posters of Jay in magazines and all sorts. So, you, you definitely inspired people like myself to get in the gym and to look like that. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I, I traveled to Denver and I, was at a gym training and they charged me to work out and Brian Shaw was working the desk. I don't know if you ever heard this really? story. Yes, and he was upset because they, they they charged me and he's like, that's Jay Cutler. This is before he got into it, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy to see you guys take over the industry and do the, you know, have the success that you did, you know, years later and, you know, we were all an influence for that. So it's, you know, nothing, there's no trophies, accolades, whatever that can, take the place of being yeah. someone that gives a person motivation to be better. A lighthouse of inspiration, yeah. that's what I'll say. Right then, that wraps up the session with Jay. Jay, so I say thank you, mate. It's, it's been, a long time coming, right? As, yeah, it's been an honor for me, mate, as well. Like, really humbling and very blessed to say to have one of the great, someone I looked up to as a kid, having trained me and put me through the motions. The new next, I might be the next Jay Cutler. You know what I mean? We're gonna see. We're gonna see about that. <laughs> awesome, Jay. Yeah, Thank man. you so much, man. Right here, bro. Go and check out Jay Cutler on Instagram, on his YouTube, and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Big love the beast. Take care.
Thank <laughs> you.